I see familiar faces here, so I'm nice and comfortable. My name is Nicole Newman. My company is called Newman Networks. I've been a member of Power Match for how many years? Anna, you were the first one. I was the first <laughs> one. So my story began in 2006. I think Bill Clinton was the president, and the Internet was the big new thing, and we were trying to decide if we were going to tax um, electronic goods. And I actually worked for Deloitte Touche Tematsu. I worked for Nick Van Dam, who was the chief learning officer. So Nick was from um, Sweden, I think he was from Sweden. And he was a chief learning officer at Deloitte. He was doing a PhD program and he started a website called eLearning for Kids, which gave out free electronic software for students to learn all over the world. He's my boss four levels up. If he's doing all that at a corporate job, what am I doing? What am I doing? So I felt like I really wasn't giving back to my community. I had all this IT knowledge, and I knew business owners needed the IT knowledge, and I wasn't giving it to them. So I decided to go and start a company called Diverse Philly. It was an internet website where we brought people together, and I had a consulting background. Who's ever worked in a consulting firm before? So no, not a lot of consultants here, <laughs> <laughs> all business owners. So in consulting firms, you, you typically come in and do an assessment of a client on their IT needs and their infrastructure and give them recommendations and systems. I tried to take that same attitude to small businesses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all all laugh now, right? Because it didn't work. And I didn't know that it didn't work. I was like, why am I not connecting with the audience? What I figured out, and this is because my accountability partner told me, is that I was a know-it-all. And I didn't know it. <laughs> Nobody told me that my approach was not the right approach to business owners. So from a business owner's perspective, they want somebody to come in and be a partner and help guide them down the path. Who wants to be told what to do? Nobody's raising their hand. Nobody. And, and so I had to collect my thoughts around the fact that the business I just built was going to fail. It was going to fail. So I'm, I'm, I'm in here deciding what I'm really going to do while I'm talking to my accountability partner. So guess what Nicole does? She gets a partner. It was a 90-day partnership, worst mistake in my life. I took my lumps, and I didn't understand because I, I called my accountability partner, and I talked to this person every day, and I said, Tara, did I just get married? She said, yes, you got married. I didn't know. So my partnership <laughs> failed. My company <laughs> failed. Everything was failing around me. So, uh, so now I'm, I'm really, like, totally lost because I left the job. So I knew, I knew the path to Islam was coming, and I was at a low point in my life. So I finally decided to, to join the path. I finally decided to find my true calling. So when I became converted to Islam, I found out a whole community of entrepreneurs. I found a whole lot of people who did not um, function in the normal, traditional entrepreneurial realm. So they weren't on the internet. They had a whole network of how they did business and everything was through word of mouth. I said, oh, I got excited again. <laughs> I got excited because I found in my journey to run away from what I thought was a success, I was being pushed to where I was supposed to be. And, and I was like, does that really work? Does that work? I, so it took me a while to figure out that where you're supposed to be is going to come as long as you just allow it to come and accept the blessing and don't turn that failure into stop. Because I thought embracing this land was quitting my business. I actually thought this. So coming over and finding a whole new world of entrepreneurs and how they do things, I saw all these women entrepreneurs, and they had a, a network of how they did things. And so we started another company. So now I've failed in one company, but decided to change my approach and become partners with clients and work with women exclusively to design something called Calling All Female Entrepreneurs with my accountability partner. So all the ladies are calling all female entrepreneurs. Please clap your hands. And thank you for understanding that I had to change my approach. So when I started this new company, I started with a board of directors. You know that Mary was talking about her cabinet? We designed a board of directors about a year in. 
So five ladies actually managed the organization and along with me and my co-founder who was Tara Colquitt who became my accountability partner and got me out of a marriage and then she married me. So thank you. <laughs> I thank her for marrying me. So, so that helped me do what I was trying to do before but in a bigger system with the right audience in a way that fits my personality. So I, my story is every failure is only a failure if you see it as a fa failure. It is the path to success. Yes, it is.